So question six, part B. Question six, part B. Write pseudocode for the module process a student list. The module description is repeated here for reference. Read each line from the file studentlist.txt. So we open studentlist.txt for read. Check whether the reference appears in the array using search levers. If the reference does not appear, then write the line into uh, line to the file updated list. So we have to open updated list for write. Okay. Then. Then it says, return the number of lines not copied. So it's like reading a record from the file, extracting the reference number, then calling search levers. And if search lever says it is false, then we write that record to the new file that is updated list.txt. And if it says true search lever that that reference already exists, then we just count it. Why we count it? Because we have to return the number of lines that were not copied. So function process students lists return integers, declare record line, record line will be the string that will be used to uh, extract the record from the file and reference number that we will use to extract the reference number from the uh, red record line. And the, then we have to have this counter, which is not copied counter, with, we initialize it to zero. So we open the file for read, which is a student list file. And then we open the file updated list for write, which is the file in which we will write all those students' records whose reference was not found in Lever's array. While not end of file, student list.txt. So we will read this file as a whole. Then we will read one record line at a time. Then it was said there at the start that either the reference number is of five characters or eight characters and but whatever if it is five character then the sixth one will be sterisk or if it is eight character then the ninth one will be sterisk so that we have to keep in mind now that we have read a record from uh, the file in rack line string array then we have to check if mid of rack line six comma one it means that the reference is five characters so we have extracted five characters from the left of the record line. And if it is not at the sixth position, definitely it is at the ninth position. In that case, we will be uh, extracting from the left of the uh, rack line eight characters. So whatever the case, either it is of five characters or eight character, it has been extracted in the reference number variable, which is obviously a string. Then we send that string to search levers. If search lever returns false, it means that that student has not left the school yet. So we will write the rack line that we have uh, read from the file student list into updated list.txt. And if it is found, let's say if it is true, in that case, we will just count it how many times the lines, those we have extracted from the student list were found, the reference numbers were found in the array. If they were found, then we just count all right and then once the loop ends once the loop ends we write and while then we have to close both files close file student lists dot txt close file updated list dot txt and then return not copied and and function next question 
it is part c question 6 part c count times is to be used to count how many unused elements there are in the levers array an unused element is one that contains an empty string and this said earlier that this array actually contains uh, this array actually contains empty string by having nothing there so just an empty string okay now an unused element is one that contains an empty string. So empty string is basically double quotation without any space in between. So count times take two parameters, the name of the array and the string. So this is levers, the name of the array. Remember when we use array as a parameter, we don't put those brackets and all. We just take the name, we, we use the identifier for the array and we just pass it on. Okay, when we receive it, at that time, we have to use those brackets in parameters though. Uh, Take two parameters, the name of the array and the string. Since we have to count that what is the number of empty strings in the array, we use double quotation without any space as it was mentioned earlier. Count the number of elements that are the same as the string. So we will call, write, an, write a statement that uses uh, count times, here we go, to assign the count of unused elements to the variable result. So we call count times with levers as the array name and what we need to count is the empty string as double quotation without any space in between. So whatever the, the counter that count time returns will be caught in result. So that's it. This was the paper. I'll be uploading this paper. So if you have any questions, do ask those questions underneath. Thank you very much. Take care.